going on down here? What's going on down there, Bigby? Abusing a prisoner like that. I thought you were dead, Snow. And that makes it okay? I hope it was worth your time. Okay, you, you're gonna have to explain this, because I'm really not getting it yet. After our conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy, but hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. Or at least to figure out who she is, if it's not Faith's body. I should have been there, Snow. I tried calling the business office, but there was no answer. I couldn't find you, or anyone, so I took care of it. Snow? What is it? I'm glad you're not dead. Me too. I just want to get to the bottom of this. I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. Snow, it's not your fault. But she looked just like me. That can't be a coincidence. We just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. I mean, that's what it is, right? So, what's our next move? Maybe you should lie low for a while? Until we figure out what's going on. And what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs? Waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? That's not what I meant. Well, then what did you mean? I told you, I'm tired of sitting around. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once. I'm not yours to lose. I'm sorry. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too... you know... Myself. Right. TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I... I want to be there. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. Well, that's appropriate. The moon. 
Usually this is about deception or confusion. But for me, well, who knows? I hope you can find what you're looking for. So, check out anyone who fits that profile. You might start with Bluebeard. Right away, Miss Snow. Are you ready to examine the body now? In a minute. When you're ready. Oh, that's enough. Uh, Mira, finish! Cancel! What the hell are you doing? Don't even get started with me, Sheriff. What's going on? I saw what you did down there. Is that how you treat your prisoners? The woodsman may be a good-for-nothing drunk, but that don't mean you can just whack him around because you feel like it. You scared the shit out of me, little boy. He saw everything. Okay, Mr. Toad. No. I want an explanation. And what did you expect to see? I thought maybe I'd catch you on the shitter. But I saw something worse, didn't I? That's enough. Mr. Toad, I deeply regret the distress this has caused you and your son. But right now, we need to carry on with the investigation. I will be happy to speak with you about your concerns later, but you must understand how urgent this is. We need to talk to TJ. This ain't over, Big B. TJ. It's all right. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? Watch yourself, Big B. You do anything to hurt me, boy. It's okay. Just start from the beginning. Go ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes, in the river. I wasn't doing anything bad, I promise. Of course you weren't. We know you're a good kid, TJ. You're not in trouble. Just tell me what happened. I was there, under the big blocks. And I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! <laughs> it's okay, son. <laughs> Careful, Big B. I wasn't. I know. The lady fell in, but but she didn't have her head on. I thought I thought she was gonna pull me down too. <laughs> cause cause she had rocks on her feet and she kept falling down in the dark part. <laughs> Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? Do you know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. Yeah, part of my job is being able to tell when people are lying. I'm really good at it. Is there something else you want to say? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I... I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it! I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I told you! You shouldn't have lied. I'm sorry. We'll discuss this when we get out. So you didn't stay underwater? I don't know. If anyone saw me, but but someone said, stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. 
Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? I didn't want to be in trouble. Okay, TJ. I'm sorry. After I came up again, there was no one there. And I ran home, that's all. I promise. I want to go home. Okay, you can go. <laughs> Thank you, TJ. Okay, son. <laughs> Let's get you home. You did a good job, kid. Come on, then. That went about as well as I expected. <sighs> you want to go look at the body now? Yeah. Come on. Oh my goodness! I almost forgot. I didn't realize I've never seen her face before now. You gonna be okay? You don't have to stay. I want to stay. I'll be fine. It's just a little strange. The glamour is so effective, it's invasive. But just do what you need to do. She was tied up? They tied cinder blocks to her ankles, so she would sink. Oh. Track marks. She used Monday drugs? Looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms, or if they're trying to hide the marks. Anyway. Means it's not a perfect match to your leg, unless. Don't be ridiculous. Her fist is clenched. So she fought back? No marks on the knuckles. Oh. Maybe she was grabbing something? Maybe. What are you doing? Only way to find out. Jesus, Bigby. What is it? Flowers. Yeah. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never seen one this sloppy. Might just be failing. Glamours don't just fail. The witches upstairs know what they're doing. That's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged, for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. 
I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. You're right. These buttons are wrong. I wonder... What? Snow. I need to open her code. Bigby, just let me. It's not you, Snow. It's just a body. I... Well, I certainly hope you're behaving yourself up here, now that you're done smashing bottles on people. What have you found out? Well? I haven't finished yet. Well, get on with it, then. We can't waste too much time here. Killer might be preparing another attack as we speak. We should keep going. Are you wearing silk lingerie, Snow? Why do you want to know? I was just trying to see if the clothes are exact. They're not. What is that? It's your perfume. How did you know what perfume I wear? You can't fool this, Nose. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So, someone gave her instructions. I've seen things like this before. It's definitely magic, though witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. Don't you think? You worry too much, Crane. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? I think I can figure it out. Something to do with these rings here. A deer. What does that mean? Oh. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I, I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think... This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Let me guess. It's my hair. Yeah. Who did this, Bigby? She's a troll? You gotta be kidding me. Holy shit. Well, that helps explain the glamour. Kind of. Who is she? That wasn't there before. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. 
Should have left them all back in the homelands. You don't mean that, do you? With that dad, too, it's gotta be Holly's sister, Lily. The woodsman told me about her. You're right. She was reported missing, but I... I guess it just slipped through the cracks. We have to go tell Holly. Right. Who knows, she might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. We should go. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. You'd be putting her life at risk. Bigby is not in charge of me. He's in charge of this investigation. If Snow wants to come with me, I'm not gonna stop her. But... We should leave now. You ready? Yeah. This whole thing is complete bullshit, and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after... Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. This'll do. Holly, you got a minute? Why? Please, Holly. It's important. Miss White! I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It, it really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? Because, you know, we were just talking about you. All of us. At the bar. Here. I just need to talk to Holly. Privately. All right. Just give us a second first. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, everyone knows. The toad was just here. You said it looked like Snow White. Is that true, love? Yes. It's true. So we were just wondering why, of all the possible suspects in Fable Town, why would you arrest the poor old woodsman, who you know had nothing to do with these murders? Bigby, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to... find the off button. Now! What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around. But as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. Cat got your nerve? What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. Holly. What? Bigby. Look, two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister... Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Actually, have there been any updates? On my sister? I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. Boy, I sure walked into that one. If you say one more fucking thing, just one more thing. God fucking damn it. Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? You'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us. She might have been saved. She might have been cared for. She might have been... I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry we found your sister this way, and I... I 
wish this had ended up better. Holly, get the fuck out of my bar. I just want It should have been you. It should have been you, and it wasn't. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I... I didn't know she still had this. Oh, the copper was from a dwarf mine. It's very rare and very old. That was decent of you. Gren. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? about our life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. <sighs> she was lost here in the city. She just got swept away by it. She was hooking to pay down debt. It ain't me up to see her that way. We just didn't see eye to eye on things. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees. It's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Holly, it's okay. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. Georgie. Hmm, not the first time I've heard that name. What do you know about him? We can just go talk to him. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here? <laughs> really? Anything else you can tell us? I don't think so. Like I said, we didn't talk much. That's all right. You've been more than helpful. Is she? Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no, it's it's a kind of, it, it's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise or, I don't know, some old world shit will fuck your soul up. Of course. Okay, good. Let's go down to the business office and start making the necessary preparations, all right? That club? I'll go down there now. See what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. Really, thanks. It just made everything easier. <laughs> 